It's about the culture that we've created. This is four years in a row in the playoffs. This is something we really believe we can sustain. We just got a little bit challenged offensively at the end of the year. We had some opportunities. We just could not cash in. I think the heartbeat within this group is very prominent. And as a manager, uh, that's probably the thing I'm most proud of. Our guys are on the same page. It's going to matter when we pour it again next year. I think this is going to serve as motivation for next season. Baseball is back. Oh, <laughs> oh baby! Oh, my! There's the pit. Out of your lines, one base hit. Left center field. It's going to go all the way to the wall. Cubs win. They come all the way back from an eight. So, Wrigley, and there's a blast. Number 100 for Chris Bryant. Back toward the wall. Some turnaround first. He's trying for two. Baez is ball. He's got it. As he tumbles into the stands. What a play. Man, what an awkward swing. Well, Quintana got 10 in the ballgame. Ball four. They're loaded. Everybody's standing at Wrigley. toward the corner, half dives, makes another sensational catch, and the Cubs win the ball game. Jason makes the catch, Taylor's gonna try to score the throw to the plate, here it comes, the tag, the slide, he's out, he's out, double play. Swing a line drive, base hit, Cubs win, Cubs win, base hit to right, Bryant scores, Albert Almora Jr. with a base hit. There goes Baez, throw to the plate, Possibly the home. most uh, magical trip around the bases. Swing and a miss. And the Cubs win. Two and two on David Bodie, trying to come through. And the pitch on the way. Strikes out Manny Pena. 
pitches one, two. I think he swung at it. He did. Rosario saves it in very impressive fashion. Swing and a miss. Way to Holiday. Swing and a miss, strike three. Back to back strikeouts in the inning. We won 95 games. That's our goal every year. By that measure, it was a largely successful regular season. We do set out to win 95 each year, but that's, that's the goal that we want to get to because nine times out of 10, that gives you your division title and, and you're moving on. As John Lester said, maybe this will be good for us because if you just show up, playing it cool, knowing you're talented, and trusting that the talent will manifest over the course of 162, sometimes you end up one game short. And that's not who we are. It's not who we want to be. We have to own that and we have to recognize it and I think our players do. Maybe that feeling in the clubhouse last night, which was a whole lot of pissed off and disappointed and frustrated, will be our rallying cry for next year. We will remember that feeling of falling one game short and try to apply it 162 times throughout the course of the season.